We begin tonight with new information about a deadly plane crash that happened earlier today near Las Vegas. That plane was heading here to San Diego to Gillespie Field. And tonight we're hearing from a friend and pilot who knew one of the victims. Our Jamie Chambers starts us off live with the latest on this developing story. Jamie. Uh, Kathleen here at Gillespie Field. This is a tight knit group of pilots. They've known each other for decades. And when they got the news that a plane went down on the way to this field, it was a tough day for everyone. The difficult news of a Cessna 310 crash in Vegas hit Gillespie Field as pilots realized the plane that went down killing two was headed to their airfield. The FAA says the plane had been in the air for only nine minutes before it crashed in the South Valley community of Las Vegas. I've known him for uh, close to 30 years. Expert pilot and colleague Robert R.C. heard his friend Bob Gola's voice over the air traffic control radio taking off for Vegas yesterday. And when the report came in that a twin engine Cessna 310 went down on its way back to Gillespie Field, his stomach dropped. It's like, oh no, it must have been Bob. And sure enough, I looked it up and then I, then I realized it was him. After all the years of being a friend, it was just last week that RC went with Golo to Santa Barbara for a lunch, snapping this picture of Golo as they were leaving. I actually got to fly with him. And then a few days later, he, he's gone. RC says from one professional to another, Golo was simply a pro at all times. Very, very cautious, very conscientious, careful, and safe. So my first thought is uh, this must have been a really nasty mechanical uh, problem. RC says Golo had a deep commanding voice, was one of those people you could always count on, and above all else. He loved flying. Now, the FAA is investigating a crash along with the NTSB. They will take some time, it could be months, before they understand exactly what went wrong with that plane. That's the very latest from El Cajon, Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.